Rule number one, the house always wins. If you get lucky and win big, take your earnings and run out of the casino. That is, unless you're Mickey Mace. The quote-unquote king of Baccarat discovered a method that gives him an edge in the game, allowing him to win long term. But that's not even the best part of the story. I really don't care what this guy has to say. He can suck my dick. Mickey Mace was born in New Jersey to an affluent Jewish family in 1991. His father would end up going to prison for some time for his involvement in organized crime. This unfortunately led to the financial destruction of the family. This would contribute to Mickey's wild nature. He would spend a lot of his teen years in and out of jail for being rebellious. As a young man, he bounced around from New York and Florida in his early 20s, at one point in his life being homeless and on drugs in Washington Heights. After his friend Charlie from Florida was able to get in contact with him, he offered him a job in exchange for a place to live. Here at this tattoo shop, he would get his life back on track. Charlie's landlord asked Mickey to paint some sober living homes for him for some extra money. Mickey slowly started to get more and more opportunities from painter to general handyman to learning about running the small construction business. He learned the ins and outs of the sober living business while being a contractor and was able to leverage his knowledge to get a job in another company. He worked his way up the company being promoted quickly because Mickey worked long days, long weeks, and soaked up information like a sponge. Through his uprise in the sober living company, he was able to open up his own sober livings, then rehabs, then slowly fall into a small pile of healthcare businesses which included selling medical licenses for 300 pharmacies, staffing private practices, and patient acquisition. He started plenty of other businesses with ingenious crafting all stemming from this core industry, being able to sell some and step away from others as a retired rich young man. After a soft retirement from the workforce, he decided to become a full-time self-proclaimed degenerate. <laughs> This is why we know and appreciate Nicki today, partying with famous rappers, sleeping around with tons of girls, and of course, gambling. This was not Mickey's first time gambling. He comes from a family of gamblers. Growing up in his part of New Jersey, there were many rich Jewish kids and rich mob kids. He would host games, and it was here that he figured out he was better than most at gambling. One time, I beat my friend's dad so bad in a card game that he ran out of money and had to write me a check, and he goes, hey, can you not deposit this until such and such day? As an adult, it was no different. He eventually came upon his method to beating the game Baccarat, which he used to take over 30 million dollars from the casino. In a video on Full Send called Money Buys Happiness, he even pulls up proof of his gambling profits, showing crazy numbers. Once the casino realized he had an edge, they tried to throw him off his game. They did things like hire women to infiltrate a circle and extract information from him, placing audio recording devices in his rooms, blocking his cell signal, locking him in an elevator, and even tried having him robbed on three separate occasions for millions of dollars. One even led to a pursuit down Las Vegas Boulevard. The casinos eventually just decided to ban him altogether from Vegas. Mickey had always claimed the casino cheated in order to gain an even further unfair advantage against its players. He even caught this on film. It was after this that casino started to ban him. Don't send me back to MGM. But well, why send me wouldn't back he keep MGM. the ace? Why? Well, well, no, no, no. Vote. No, no, no. I lost 2,000. Give me my 2,000 back and, and take the ace back. I'll take my 2,000 back. Give me a push. Give me a push and the, and the ace is okay. Or give me the ace and I bet 10,000. Yes. Yeah. That's what should happen. Correct. After Mickey's first press run, after being banned from Vegas, he seemed to be making content, but shortly after, took a social media break. He still plays poker in LA, he has slowed down his life a bit, and is currently monogamous with his girlfriend. I actually, for five months, have only been seeing my girl. She is like relentless, like, post me, I want to get posed, I want everyone. And I said, hey, feel better about me if I am just one-on-one -on -one with you. And she's like, yeah, I would love that. For five months, we've been rocking out. He is close with his brother, but his parents are still a little distant. He talked about some big plans in his last interview, but we have yet to see. I'm sure he'll pop out when he's ready. Now this is the interesting part. From his insane earnings, going from homeless to owning pharmacies, many people are skeptical of Mickey's claims. Understandably, it does sound like something straight out of a movie. But time and time again, Mickey has been able to produce receipts from his gambling earnings, his taxes, and being banned by Vegas. Not only that, but no one has been able to prove that he's not who he says he is. Spencer Cornelius, a non-believer at first, has made videos proving that everything is legit. You can also pull up his gambling records yourself. The truth is crazier than a lie. Thanks for watching guys. Please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Peace.